Hey folks, what I'm going to do today is tell another Doug Strain story, and this relates to current events as well. But I wanted to start with something I dug out of the Trim Tab Book Club Google Group Archives, which is only open to members in the current configuration. It's a story from a memorial service where we talk with the rabbi, Alan Liu, and he writes about Buckminster Fuller's admiration for Sigmund Freud, or thinking who was the important figure and why Freud and not Einstein. Because what Freud did is he established the invisible as more important, or the overarching, right, over the visible. And uh, there's a quote here, you would never have had Einstein if Freud hadn't convinced the world of this first. You would never have had nuclear physics. What is this? That the invisible is more important than the visible. So this is interesting stuff, is it not? It's in uh, KabbalahExperience.com. Of course, everyone wants to call me now. Uh, it's been an interesting morning. I've been making a commercial for my company, uh, Claris Way, that means, and State of Oregon, this is the story. So the Japanese, during World War II, were attacking the west coast of the United States, and they used balloons. Believe it or not, there's a way to get balloons to come floating all the way from Japan, or from offshore somewhere, and to float up over the forest and to attempt to set a state or a city, set a forest or a city on fire by means of balloons carrying fire. Um, now, this is here as it talks about the balloon. So I bring this up because you'll probably forget all this, but this is February 9th, 2023. And a big story, which I'm kind of not following, but which relates so much that I had to bring it up, uh, is the balloon, the balloon, the white balloon that they shot down. And it's all over Facebook jokes, everything. It's just kind of taken over. But I'm pointing to events in World War II in which Doug Strain was involved. Now, this is a guy I've been talking about here on YouTube. I want to emphasize... His importance are in our community. There was a memorial service. We're going back now. Um, I'll get the year in a minute here. But when he passed away, it was a major thing. We're at the uh, McMinimans and uh, Pacific University. Entire buildings come from Doug Strain and his successful ESI. There's an exhibit on ESI. There's a whole thing about ESI here, right? So that's the company that I've been showing off, having a very old meeting house, or Quaker meeting house as its factory. It was first a factory for Janssen, the swimsuit company. Then I guess ESI took it over in its early days. And then later it became a Quaker meeting house. Okay, so this was all about Doug Strain's memorial. Now, let's get a date here. Where are we? We are in 2008. Okay, so I just wanted to make that link. There's a lot you can Google up on the, on the fire balloons from Japan. And I don't mean to confuse Japan and China. Right now, the story with the balloon is all about China. And I'm curious, why don't you take a look and see if anyone else is bringing up this real history? that's happened in the past you know it's a good segue to Doug Strain be interesting to see if anyone's calling it up you can go to Synergetics Dictionary and find an entry for Freud uh, the, the Fuller, Fuller's uh, Synergetics Dictionary compiled by Ed Applewhite mostly it's why I call it Fuller's is it's mostly his words right and if you want to cross check that he talked about Freud, as what I'm saying, and you, you may be skeptical of this whole Kabbalah thing, uh, story. Well, do check the Synergetics Dictionary and do find that he does credit Freud in there. All right.
Good to know, right? Synergetics is in the humanities is what I'm arguing. All right. Talk to you soon.